Have you ever wondered why some leaders or brands have legions of loyal followers while others struggle to keep their audience engaged? The secret ingredient is trust. Starting off with Psalm 20 verse 7, it reveals a profound insight. Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. So today, we are displaying the power of building trust. A journey from alleviating pain to amplifying gain. Think about the last time you truly trusted somebody or a brand. What made you place your trust in them? Stay tuned as we reveal the secrets to becoming a magnet for loyalty and respect. All right, here we are getting started. So in today's video, we are exploring the art of building that trust. It's not just about making promises, but about leading people away from their fears and guiding them towards their aspirations. Much like Psalms 37 verses three encourages us, Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Imagine transforming your skepticism into unwavering support. That's the journey that we are going on today together. So, if you're ready to become the leader or the brand people believe in unconditionally, you are in the right place. So, let's get going. We're starting off with section one revealing the importance of trust. Trust is not just a feel good factor. It is the foundation of all successful relationships, whether it's personal or professional. Luke 16 10 reminds us he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Furthermore, to expand on this, let's take a look at a study by the Harvard Business Review that states 58% of people would trust a stranger over a company that they perceive as dishonest. Moreover, brands that have successfully built a high level of trust see customer loyalty rates soar up to 82%. 82%! That's according to the Edelman Trust Barometer. But what does this mean on a personal level? It means that trust can significantly impact our decisions, our loyalty, and even our willingness to forgive mistakes. So let's take a look into a case study, specifically Airbnb. Once criticized for safety and security, it made both the hosts and the guests wary. It turned its narrative around by implementing a comprehensive measure. They introduced a $1 million host guarantee to cover property damages, instituted a robust user verification process, and established a 24-7 customer support team. These actions alongside a review system that encouraged transparency between the hosts and the guests. It dramatically enhanced the platform's trustworthiness by addressing these fears and the concerns directly and taking decisive action to resolve them. Airbnb transformed skepticism into unwavering support. That indeed, rebuilding that trust is possible. Let's think about the time that you gave a second chance to a friend or a person or a brand. I wanna hear your personal stories. Please share them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share how trust was built in that story. Now, we're going into the next section, section two, leading away from pain. Nobody likes to be in a state of discomfort or uncertainty. As leaders or brands, the first step in building trust is acknowledging the pain of your audience. Consider what 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4 tells us. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Understanding this, let's engage in a quick exercise. 
think of a recent complaint or a negative feedback that you've received. Now, imagine responding, not just to resolve that issue, but to truly comfort and uplift the other person that was affected. This mindset shift is crucial for turning pain into gain. Furthermore, addressing customer complaints can help businesses retain up to 70% of those customers, 70%. Let me share a story that exemplifies this approach. Transforming leadership and organizational culture through the power of coaching and empathy. Consider the journey of Eric Schmidt, the former CEO of Google. Initially skeptical about the value of executive coaching, Smith's perspective shifted after working with Bill Campbell, a renowned coach who emphasized the importance of empathy, understanding in that leadership role. So, Campbell's guidance helped Schmidt see the value in acknowledging the pain points, not just of customers, but of his employees and colleagues as well. By adopting a more empathetic leadership style, Schmidt was able to support a culture of trust and openness at Google, which in turn led to an innovative solutions and a more cohesive team dynamic. The story showcases the transformative power of empathy and building trust. It's showing how a shift occurs in understanding and addressing the concerns of others can lead to significant positive changes within an organization. So do me a favor, pause the video, take a minute just to reflect on your personal or your business related discomforts and think about the transformative steps that you could take to be better. So. Now we're moving on to section three. Guiding towards the gain, after acknowledging the pain, the next step is to illuminate or light up the path to gain. Let's look at Philippians 2 verses 4. It advises, look not every man unto his own things, but every man also on the thing of others. To put this into perspective, consider the story of Lego a brand that faced a significant crisis in the early 2000s. The company was losing money for the first time in its history due to over diversification and a disconnect with its core audience. Lego's turnaround came from decisive actions that realigned its focus towards the needs and desires of its primary consumers, the children and their parents. This involved engaging with the Lego fan community and returning to the classic brick sets that had originally made the brand a household name. These specific actions led to a dramatic recovery and unprecedented growth for Lego, powered by positive word of mouth from its community, proclaiming the importance of focusing on others' needs. Additionally, some more support from Nielsen's finding is that 92% of consumers trust, 92% come from recommendations of friends and family. Overall, forms of advertising emphasizes the power of positive experiences and the word of mouth. Let's discuss how this insight transforms your approach to trust using real life examples of like Legos. Leveraged customer satisfaction to generate a powerful trust building word of mouth, showcasing how understanding and prioritizing the needs of your audience can lead to remarkable outcomes. So, why not model this and start by finding and identifying one core value or service you can focus on to enhance your trust with your specific customers? All right, everyone, we've been on this roller coaster ride through the Trustville, from digging into those tricky pain points to lighting up the trail towards massive, incredible, big wins. Now it's time to change the game for you 
inspired by Hebrews 11, verses 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I'm throwing this down with a gauntlet, with a seven-day trust quest. Every day, pick one trust-building move. It could be with your pals, could be with your crew at work, or your awesome followers, if you're ruling the content kingdom. Drop your daily trust trick in the comments. For instance, day two could be Transparency Tuesday. Share a truth about yourself or your business that you've never, ever shared publicly. Let's get a trust fest going. Sharing cool moves of tales and trust magic. On your marks, get set, go trust. All right, a massive thanks for sticking around through this video. Crafting trust is like running the most rewarding marathon ever. As Galatians 6, 9 hits home with, and let us not grow weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. So before we part, let me slice from my own trust marathon. Here's a quick story from my journey. When I first started out, I made a major mistake that could have ended everything before it even began. I was terrified to come clean about it, fearing it would destroy the trust I was building. But when I finally mustered the courage to be transparent, the response was overwhelming support and understanding. This experience taught me that vulnerability and honesty are not just trust builders, they're the very foundation of strong connections. It's a powerful reminder that wearing your heart on your sleeve and genuinely rooting for others plants the seeds of trust. Every act of honesty, every single moment of vulnerability, it strengthens the bonds that we share. So keep steering with the heart and watch trust blossom all around you. So your journey of building trust, of leading with authenticity is just getting started. And I can't wait to see where it takes you. If you're pumped up by this video and you wanna continue this journey with us, make sure to hit that like button, share the video with friends who also need a trust boost and definitely subscribe for more adventures in trust building and so much more here on Majestic Transformations. Your support means the world and it helps us spread the message of trust far and wide. Remember, in the end, it's not just about building followers or customers. It's about building a community, a family rooted in trust. I can't wait to see you in our next adventure. So until then, keep building trust one act at a time. God bless everybody. Have a great day.